everyone, my name is Cara David and today I'll be conducting fireside chats with some of Inspiro's top executives. Inspiro is an outsourcing specialist with a network of 32,000 customer experience champions across 51 strategic locations all over the world. But what is more inspiring about Inspiro is the fact that it is a homegrown Filipino company, one of the first BPO companies in the Philippines. Joining me today is one of the best operations leader in the Philippines, especially in the BPO industry. He oversees 12,000 contact center employees in three different continents, Hindi countries, ah, three continents. Mr. Romel Regino, the head of global operations and sales of Inspiro. Hi, Romel. Hi, Cara. Good morning. Thanks for that kind uh, introduction. You know, I'm I'm very uh, flattered. Thank you. Na pressure naman ako. Na pressure naman ako <laughs> dito sa tatlong continents. Grabe. <laughs> it must be a lot of pressure being the boss of 12,000 employees from three different continents. Well, you know, it's uh it's nice to be servicing and uh, providing support, Cara, mm-hmm. to our um uh, three um, uh, continents that uh, we are located in and of course uh, we are so proud of our roots as you've mentioned we are born here in the philippines and we are fortunate and blessed enough that we were one of the few if not the only filipino born company that have grown in this magnitude and uh, have presence on uh, two other continents namely in the u.s and nicaragua yeah. Amazing, amazing. So para kayong Jollibee ng call center industry. <laughs> Di ba? Homegrown <laughs> Filipino taking over the world. I agree, Cara. I think, you know, it's a very good, uh, it's a very good descriptors that you've mentioned. You know, it's, uh, come to think of it, that's how we've, uh, you know, we, we really, we started and we've grown here in the Philippines and then we started conquering the world, uh, you know, as, uh, you know, uh, starting in 2014. So, uh, and now we're eyeing actually Europe, uh, which is the next, uh, um, uh, you know, our uh, next uh, objective. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Pero, Romel, you did not start with the BPO industry straight out of college, di ba? I understand you graduated with a degree in industrial engineering, tama ba? That's correct, yes, Cara. That's right, yeah. Um, you know, ang, 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 my discipline started in uh, manufacturing. manufacturing. So that's where, yeah, you know, in, in, uh, without uh, showing my age here, Cara, uh, uh, you know, I, uh, I started in uh, the semiconductor uh, industry way back in the 90s. If you remember, that was, uh, I think, the um, industrial, you know, the industrial revolution was, was pretty oh. big. And, uh, oh. Many factories were setting shop here in the Philippines, and uh, I was uh, f- um, I was hired as an industrial engineer f- for uh-huh. one of the uh, 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 big conglomerates here uh, that that's owned that uh, particular semicon, um, uh, providing exports for uh, uh, you know uh, Japan, U.S., and Europe in particular. Right, right. So from from working with machines in factories to the service sector, how did you transition from handling machines as an engineer to being with people in a BPO company? Magkaiba ata yung manufacturing sa service sector, di ba? You know, Kara, that's the interesting part of it. You know, initially that was my understanding as well. In fact, when they uh, with my ex employer who uh, got me into this um, uh, BPO space. Uh, they were, I was asking myself, what am I going to do in a industry that is more service driven? <laughs> and they keep on explaining to me, and this is way back uh, 1999. Mm-hmm. And they were saying, you're going to talk about uh, or going to do failure analysis. So I failure analysis. You know, I do that also in manufacturing. When 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 a product is not working, it's defective. We check it, we do a repair, and if we test it again, it's it's good. Oh, and then the, the, 
Yeah, I mean, th- th- that was all my questions, you know. See, you know, I, I, I probably had that same look, Cara, when uh, they were hiring me. And, um, uh, and, and what lured me actually and got me very curious was the explanation. And then at the same time also, it was, uh, that time was nearer also my home and my mom was, uh, was sick that time. So um, I took the job and I realized that the BPO um, industry, um, and now, you know, as it matured already here, I realized the big similarities of the service industry with that of the manufacturing. In what way? Oh, in what way? There are four, actually, there are four components when, you know, I, uh, I, I, I uh, really got to know very well during uh, my stay in the manufacturing space. So um, there are four components. Um, the, the, the first one being volumes, the second one being quality, um, the third one being productivity, and the last is about continuous improvement. Okay, okay. So volumes, quality, productivity, and continuous improvement. That's right. Okay, so, okay. so when I went to the service industry here, um, I saw that... Um, we are also servicing these four components. Because unang una. Sige, volume. Uh, tayo, volume. Let's talk about volume. volume. So there's a volume that's coming in. There are people all over the world that needed help. You know, what do I do? Uh, so that time we were doing uh, um, technical support. I, I did technical support myself. I um, uh, I was a uh, an escalation, as they call it. So if one of my uh, Technical support uh, guys are not able to resolve it. It gets escalated to me, so so we can resolve it, um, or if we need to replace. So mm. I saw that there are volumes um, uh, by right of it uh, as as calls. Mm. Na we need to make sure that we have enough coverage so that the that you know we're able to answer it based on what we call uh, a service level. So it means be in. If you call, you only need to wait, say, a minute or two before your call gets answered. Uh-oh. And doon ko nakita na, oh, it's the same. Ang difference lang is, in manufacturing, you talk about it from a machine perspective. Dito, you talk about it from a people perspective, which is uh, even more dynamic kasi you're talking about thousands and thousands of personalities. Correct. And I keep I keep on telling to my team, every day, you always have to make sure that you are very positive. Because yeah. if any one of them decides not to come to work, they're not going to come to work. What can we do? Correct? Oh. So, yun yung tingin ko na that excited me, that made me stay here for very, very long time already. Because ang ganda ng dynamics. Oh, oh. Every day, you meet people. Every day, you see the personalities. Every day you you see them develop. Oh. Ayon. Hindi sila so marina. We are sila people na merong ibang personalities. Correct. And yeah, they're not. Uh, yes, they have potentials and they can grow. They can be developed, and you can see a part of you with them. Because mm-hmm. you you get to touch them, you get to mentor them, you get to develop them. So unlike a machine, if you switch a button. Yeah, it's just gonna keep on going, going, going. Very one-sided, right? So it doesn't love you back. Ito, they'll, they'll share with you feedback. They'll share with you your emotions. So jointly, you get you, you become better as well. Right. Um, I tell my team, sabi ko nga, uh, you know, while uh, we share with you how you become better, in return, we get to be inspired as well. Uh in in that in that perspective pati kami pati ako i also grow and so, that's a yeah. big, big uh, benefit of being part of this industry so ibig sabihin in terms of career growth malaki ang potential sa loob ng inspiro super laki in, in general even in the basically in the bpo industry um you know when this pandemic hits uh, we were one of the few industries that were allowed to operate. And um, uh, while you probably uh, heard about many of the industries um, struggling, it became actually an opportunity for us. 
So, ma- we continue to grow, we continue to operate. And every time we grow, we need new leaders. Kasi we need um, people who will be able to uh, manage and supervise our frontline, no? our customer experience champions, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. And, and when we talk about quantity or volume, hindi pwedeng quantity and volume lang. Kailangan may quality rin, di ba? Which, which right. brings us to, to the other component, which is quality. Inspiro has grown so much. Nasa tatlong kontinente na kayo. And you have a lot of clients already. Hindi ba nawawala yung service intimacy kapag mas malaki na yung kumpanya? Yeah, so, Kara, that is one thing that we are very protective of. Okay, so let me talk about briefly what quality means in this service industry. Kasi ang daming uh, very uh, big misunderstanding of what we do here. Mm-mm. Okay, uh, you know, people are saying that this is a, uh, uh, a summer job or, or, or something to that effect. Um, I beg to disagree. Not because I'm part of this industry, but I am a witness of of the profile and the caliber of people that we look for in order to be part of this industry. Otherwise, this would have probably grown faster than what we have seen now. Okay, so to be able to deliver quality, we invest on training. We are probably one of the few industries that heavily invest on training from day one pa lang. So what does that mean? <clears throat> Easily from four weeks to eight weeks, puro training lang yan. Okay? And then may validation pa yan kasi um, hindi pwedeng basta-basta you just go into uh-huh. into pro- operations tapos you try to help already a customer. Uh-huh. So may facing pa yan, hindi yan ano, parang may practice pa siya. So it it uh, it it um, it's um, it's not a an easy job, nor is also a difficult job. What I can say is, it's a job that presents to you a learning opportunity, and it's a job that um, presents to you also a growth opportunity. Now, quality is very important. Okay, um, just quickly going back sa, ano, sa manufacturing, di ba sabi ko, if one product is uh, is not doing well, you fix it. Or not, you can fix it, di ba? Dito, pag nasabi mo na, nasabi mo na. You cannot take it back, di ba? <laughs> yes. So, quality, it will always be, has to be at its highest. It has to be... Uh, um, cons- it has to be a consideration of ex- uh, of the experience altogether. That's why we talk about it always from an experiential perspective, and and, and factor that na you have to be able to share empathy, share that particular emotion Mm-mm. in a very very virtual environment. Na wala pang ang ganitong um, uh, benefit of a, of a video. You're showing emotions through your voice, through your tone. So, quality here is probably I would I can probably say that you know this should be a benchmark of the of, of many of the industries. Pero hindi so, ba mahirap na kunyar? Pero hindi ba mahirap to give quality service? Tapos you're swamped with so much volume. <laughs> so yun yung yun yung ano yun 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 uh, a, a big group of people here just solely living and breathing training and development we we even have our own learning academy here our own university kasi okay, yes Kara, because uh, uh what we have discovered in the schools and this is not a criticism of of our schools. It's just that I think you know it's it's equally important. Ngayon, what we realize is when people come in and start working, they are very much trained on on analytical thinking, on systems thinking, but the behavior part, the emotions part, that's where uh, fundamentally that needs an uh, an augmentation. And yan ang ininvesta ng Inspiro. Uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, behavioral development. Yeah. So many of our 
uh, Learning Academy it speaks about the particular individual, the development, the behavioral, how you interact, how you coach, um, how do you develop new leaders. Tapos, yung next group naman namin is all about yung reinforcing the systems thinking, yung analytical thinking. Yun na yung product knowledge. Yun na yung mismo um, uh, the, 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 our clients expects us to know so that we will be able to provide support for our customers. No? Kasi ang, ang promise namin with our clients is we need to be a, a, a true partners of yours and we have to be an extension of your business. So the only way we can do that in a, from a quality perspective is we need to be both knowledgeable of the product, be able to provide their, what we call yung first first time resolution, first contact resolution, and at the same time, be able to provide that human element of empathy, understanding. Hindi tayo pwedeng yung ano, what's your problem agad? You know, the uh, human interaction dapat. Yeah, oo. Pero at the same time, kailangan efficient sila. So, um, so kaya kailangan, tingko, kailangan efficient ka na kailangan na-solve mo na yung problema tapos kailangan may puso pa. Correct. That's correct, Cara. Exactly. Kaya, pag tinignan mo siya, even at this massive scale of 12,000 customer experience champions, hindi nawawala yung perspective of quality. Mm-hmm. Kasi embedded yan. It's in our value system. Yung concept namin about malasakit, we live and breathe that. Um, hindi lang yan nagtatranslate on many of our programs. It's actually in the core of our um, of our being, uh, including yung when we support our uh, our clients. So no matter how big you become, bumabalik at bumabalik yung si core value ng malasakit when you were still starting out. That's correct. And that malasakit also branches out from a relationship perspective with our clients. You know, um, typically, you know, we have contractual agreements. Pero oh. we've never run this uh, business in a contractual manner. Uh, minsan nga to a fault kasi sometimes uh, uh, minsan dapat siguro kailangan additional service na siya. Uh, when do you cut that fine line, di ba? Pero we'd never do that. Kasi nga, as mentioned, we always commit that we we will be a true partner to you. We will be an extension of your business. So, hindi siya transactional, yung relationship. Hindi. It is. It's not. It's, 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 uh, it's based on friendship. It's based on family. So, um, when we got hit by this pandemic, um, it's just very heartening to to hear uh, some of our big clients na uh, uh, sharing with us, yeah, well, giving accolades on uh, our resiliency, on our malasakit. So um, we feel uh, very proud about that, you know, yung yung um, aming uh, <coughs> first and uh, still our uh, uh, biggest client here, yung aming uh, leading uh, uh, cable TV provider and now they're into into the wireless uh, business um, they have shared and, and sent the videos thanking us that uh, we continue to support them and uh, really uh, shown through malasakit and then yung 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 aming nawawala hindi nawawala yung intimacy hindi nawawala yung intimacy and uh and that's why I think they they are really a uh, they really see us as a, a a preferred partner. Um, they always tell us, you know, uh, we are a family, and uh, you know, you, you are you are so much part of our business. Um, and and, and um, it was it was also nice na in in social media when again this pandemic hit, yung biggest uh, retail and uh, uh, floral. Uh, um, company in the US uh, because we are friends also on social media. Uh-oh. Then one of our leaders posted um, a, 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 a picture of the team and then I uh, uh, 
I I I put my comment. I I put a a a, a uh, yung 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 clapping na emoticon, oh, no? Oh. And then and uh, surprisingly, my our client posted the comment and saying, you know, Romel, we thank you for making sure that you know you are continuing to support us because that time when the pandemic hits we were in the midst of the biggest uh, ramp seasonal ramp and <coughs> we were worried i say this is the first time we're gonna do it in a model na work at home we've always done this uh, on, on site so the learning curve was was very uh, was very steep at the very least pero as an organization and you can see how committed we are being true partners, how the organization commits ourselves in terms of making sure we showcase Malasakit. Nobody about it. Everyone lifted their chairs and say, I'm going to pitch for it. Whether you are uh, a, a, a maintenance crew, you are facilities, you, you are PR, your operations are even uh, marketing, everyone and provide referrals para lang mabuo namin. Yeah, and, and, and that's why I think the client really shared with us in public, in social media, her appreciation to us. So, so it was really so heartwarming to see that. So hindi, it's not all about financial gain. It's more about building relationships yes. with your employees and with your clients. So you you mentioned about it, no? Yung yung uh, you know when this pandemic hits, uh, it was a true test of what malasakit really means from a, from a company perspective and at the same time from a client's perspective. Mm -hmm. You know the uh, to your point, Kara. You know, of course, we exist uh, because we have to make money and we have to have business, but. At this time, it was a different priority, and um, the company showcased through Malasakit. You know, the 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 profitability went into a, a, a different priority. It was about safety of our employees. Okay. So our way of showing intimacy again, and at the same time, um, uh, making sure that we do not compromise yung aming um, service commitment to our clients. No, so yan yung nangyari. You know, we. We invested on and we make sure uh, we, um, you know, people do not worry about, you know, where they're going to have food on the table. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, um, our, our, uh, our employees get to be safe whether they're working at home or they're working on site. So, um, you know, yung aming, yung aming transport support alone. Araw -araw, kami ng so, uh, uh, and that, but that's the level of support we need to make sure that you know our people are safe Take and care. our clients so our clients are are taken care of. Okay, so okay. that's quality from an inspiro perspective. Right, right. Much of a company, much of the success of a company rests on the shoulders of its employees. <laughs> na pag usapan na natin kanina that kailangan kailangan alagaan yung mga empleyado so moving on to to productivity yung component of productivity how do you make sure that employees remain productive given how stressful and competitive the BPO industry is yes 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 so again you know yung productivity na to mm. uh, I wanted to correct another misunderstanding about the BPO industry oh, oh. Oh. Kasi pag sabi mo yung talk about productivity, parang ano yan, di ba? Pama, pama, you know, parang... Oo, oh, oh, parang si ka oh, di ka rin lang katulog. Oo, oh, di ka rin lang katulog or, oh. or CR, CR lang daw ang pahinga mo. That's oh, oh. not, definitely not true at all. So, huh? it's not, Kara. You know, so I think um, if there is one industry that is highly compliant mm -hmm. and even over-complying, uh, from a dollar perspective, it is really this industry. So, you know, and, and this may be a little bit of mathematics, pero pag tinignan mo, in nine hours in a day, uh, Cara, okay. in nine hours na yan, you less one hour of lunch break. Alright? So, Tapos, meron ka pang two 15-minute break. 
So technically, uh, ang kino-consider lang natin is seven hours. Okay, yeah. Out of the seven hours, babawasan pa natin yan. Sabi nga natin kasi, we need to make sure that people need to have that coaching. People need to have that development opportunity. It will need to be um, upskill and trained. So effectively, ang ini-expect lang namin for one uh, for any of our employees is about 6.2 hours of productivity 6.2 hours so that's that's just 60% of the 9 hours pretty much if you were to think about it strictly speaking and okay. the, and and that's the productivity and that's how we plan and 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 uh, 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 a compute in terms of how many people we need in a particular program in a oh. particular spirit. Eh, pero may Kasi, overtime. May overtime. Yung overtime na yan, Cara, has always been voluntary. There will be people who will always like to earn extra, mm-hmm. but there will always be people who will say, no, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, um, on the dot, after nine hours, I'm a nine to five kind of person, um, I will go home after 5 p.m. Wala yan. Walang, wala, hindi pwedeng pinipo. Walang pwersahan yan. Everything is voluntary. That's not allowed by law. So, we respect that. So, we make sure itong productivity na to is 6.2 hours and making sure that um, uh, we, we, we we respect yung, yung development. We respect yung kanilang, uh, you know, uh, uh, biological needs if you need to go to the to a, a bio break and, and so on. So, kasama yan sa planning namin. So, uh, it's it's a it's a very uh, comfortable environment to to, uh, to be in you know you you're, you're you're learning you're you're growing you're earning and you know and and, and uh, you know in the comfort of either right now either here in our office or in 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 uh, in the comforts of your home yeah. so uh Productivity to us is a what we call a, res- a responsible productivity expectations for our employees. Because when your employees are productive, your customers are happy. Are Correct. Kasi, exactly. Tsaka hindi mo pwede rin sagarin. When you talk about this, Cara, from a perspective of, ano, limbawa, syempre, when, pag, you know, when call starts coming in, oh, oh. And, uh, you know, uh, from a from a customer um, customer service perspective, you know, if you look at it uh, in a given day, probably you're gonna receive maybe 50 to 60 customers. You're gonna interact 50 to 60 customers. Mm-hmm. Imagine mo yun. Ang dami nun. So, kung, kung hindi, hindi tayo magiging conscious about it, at some point, from a human perspective, you will get affected by it also. Correct. Kasi para shock absorber kayo, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, we're, we're very conscious of that also because otherwise, um, they're just gonna be uh, providing bad service, masungit sila. Yeah, that's right. Bad service. <laughs> Kasi you know, pagod na sila. Pagod na sila and, and so on. So, we do not want that uh, in any of our interactions. Right, right, right. Makes a lot of sense. So we've covered volume, we've covered quality, productivity. Now let's talk about the last component, which is continuous improvement. The long side is ito, continuous improvement of the company, pero continuous improvement <laughs> ng inyong mga empleyado. Let's, let's talk about the employees first. Um, my impression din kasi that having a job in a call center is a dead-end career wala raw professional growth pagdating sa BPO industry. This is not true for Inspiro. Definitely not true for Inspiro. Definitely not true also from an industry perspective. Um, almost 90% mm-hmm. of our leaders here are actually homegrown. Okay? Wow. So, our supervisors, our managers, mm-hmm. our subject matter experts are mostly from within. They are front lines. And I think that's where that fam- family uh, culture is reinforced. Because mm-hmm. um, you, you see them grow. Eh? No? It's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a kid, you know? 
uh, na you, you see the child growing and uh, uh, becoming mature. And uh, continuous improvement um, translates into the many aspects of our, of, of, of Inspiro. So from a career perspective, from a growth perspective, um, you have two paths here. Either uh, you become a leader or you become a subject matter expert. Oh, so pwede kang horizontal, pwede ka rin vertical. Okay. Uh, case in point, let me talk about my own experience. You know, I am an operations person. That's my discipline. I talk about it from a four components perspective, you know. Yes. Very Spiro who gave me the opportunity to learn something from a sales perspective, from a business development perspective, Kara. So um, I I didn't see that before that I can actually do it, but um, but because of this opportunity and because of the uh, development that uh, Inspiro taught me, I'm able to to uh, to do it already, and uh, <clears throat> I'm proud that I'm probably one of again one of the few leaders who is in this uh, unique situation. Uh, from womb to tomb, no, from the time we acquire our client to maintaining them and, and providing uh, that, that that operations um, excellence. Yan yung, uh, yan yung uh, development and uh, uh, part of the continuous improvement that we embraced um, here in Spiro. Now, I mentioned about <coughs> um, operational excellence. Yeah. Um, as mentioned, we're not, uh, you know, we're not just committing to executing the, the committed delivery service. We are also committed to improve yung interaction. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> marami kaming, you know, marami kaming uh, investment on that. We commit to improve it, uh, Kara. So, may, we put in investment not just from uh, uh, operational excellence perspective. We have a team here called Center of Excellence. Okay. And what, what, what do they what, do? What they do? It's an external group outside of operations, uh, Kara. So this group looks at the interaction between our employees and our clients' customer and look at ways on how do we make it better from a customer experience and also from a productivity perspective. So parang so, neutral yung perspective nito, nitong group na to. That's correct, oo. And... And, and it's very sophisticated. We use uh, a lot of uh, uh, what we call data analytics tools here, uh, Kara. Would you believe na sometimes, I'll give you a very specific example, sometimes may nasasabi tayong salita, just one word, that actually triggers negative sentiment already to a particular customer. So, so, pag, pag, pag hindi ka conscious about it, trigger mo yung negative feedback or negative reaction from a particular customer. And yan yung, oh. yan yung from the continuous improvement perspective na ina-avoid namin. Correct. Okay? And sometimes, kapag matagal ka nang inside the company working, you forget about these things eh. So, para ka nangyigin robot, right? So, so, the operational excellence and the center of excellence team make sure that the human side of things do not get disregarded. Alright? Yeah. Second yeah. point, pa, for example, kasi we also do um, uh, 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 partly what we call uh, uh, revenue generation activities. So, when we do provide ano, support, we notice also na, alimbawa, interesado ka sa ganitong product or ganitong service. The likelihood of you getting another product of this nature will be very high. Nakikita rin yan ng mga ano. Nakikita rin yan ng aming center of excellence. Okay? So, alam mo naman ang Filipino. Filipino is one of the most hospitable people in the world. Okay. Yan yung culture na, na tinuturo natin, hindi lang dito, here in the Philippines, but also in, um, into the two other continents that I mentioned, uh, 
uh, Cara, you know, something that we, as mentioned, you know, we are very proud of that our roots here in the Philippines and we're able to to share that uh, our DNA, our Filipino DNA to uh, our U.S. Uh, uh, employees and to our Nicaragua employees. So, ngayon, since hospitable tayo, medyo hindi tayo very, uh, how do you say it, very proactive when it comes to an environment where selling is ano is uh, is 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 present mm-hmm. so ito because alam na nung aming employee na likely you will accept another product because of this continuous improvement approach mas natural yung offer mas natural yung presentation by saying would you like to have this Um, uh, you know, teddy bear with a flower, for example. Ipipiliton. You know? Parang may hindi. lambing. Oh, hindi <laughs> lambing. And at, and at the same time, sure ka na i-accept yun ng customer. Kasi okay. nga, merong, merong, merong analysis that already had gone through na, you know, um, the, the, the tool is already telling you ano yung dapat mong i-offer. So, hindi na namin, hindi na namin binibigyan ng, ng, um, Uh, another analysis perspective of yung aming employee para most focus lang siya on on either providing great customer service or providing the right product to sell. Galing. So, ayan. Galing. Ang dami ng success stories among your employees pero Inspiro itself is a Filipino company that is a success story as well. Tama ba? Yes. Na, na, nasabi mo kanina that 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 you have um call centers not only in the Philippines in the provinces but also in other countries in America in in Nicaragua yeah so, yeah mga pinoy din ang nagte-train sa kanila doon you know Kara you, you mentioned that and that's something again that we are probably in a very unique position that we have the opportunity to showcase that the Filipino talent is a world-class talent. So when we opened shop in the U.S. and Nicaragua, Cara, we sent our Filipino leaders, managers, talents to enable these delivery centers in the U.S. and Nicaragua. They're the ones who taught. They're the ones who shared malasakit. Uh, they're the ones who, 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 who put in the values there. We, we have Filipino... Uh, leaders who stayed there for almost six months, making sure that that Filipino DNA of Inspiro gets ingrained, and somehow it's it's Inspiro's way of of uh, putting us in the map. Yes. No, na, na, na the Philippines is not just a a, a source of 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 uh, of of, uh, of skills and. Uh, You know, uh, speak good English, de ba? Oh, we are also world class talent, and we have we are are good managers that can run you know corporations and and uh, uh, big companies, and uh, our talents can be pitted against even the best in the world. Mm-mm, so, mm-mm. because what sets us apart is itong core value ng malasakit and bayanihan. That's well, correct. That's right. Sa ibang bansa, eh. Correct. That's right. So, dito kasi here, when everyone is about, you know, when you hear, you know, other countries that competing, and you know, here it's all about collaboration. It's all about making sure that the success of one shares the success of the other. Mm-hmm. We have this belief na if you are successful, then I am successful. So it's a collective. success of, uh, of of the group so it, it, yan is something you know I, i i feel uh that you know it is really what is called malasakit in action mm-hmm. it's not a poster it's not a word mm-hmm. uh, it's not a lip service it is it is something that we truly you see and you feel oh. and uh you know we we we, uh, we practice every day oh it's going beyond the job description. That's right. That's correct. That's correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. At kapag, kunyari, may isa doon sa team na bumagsak, lift them up. 
Pintu yes. Di ba? Ganun ang bayanihan uh, sa akin eh. Nabubuhat nga natin yung bahay dahil sa bayanihan eh. Di ba? Here, Kara, you know, it's not about, um, you know, it's, it's not about a blame game. That's mm-hmm. not, that's not, uh, you know, our, that will never be our approach. We saw failures as an opportunity to learn. Yes. We saw, we see failures as um, an opportunity to improve. Continuous improvement will always be part of our DNA. So, you know, when we when we see a setback, we say, what can we learn from this? And then how do we make it better? Mm-hmm. That's always our that's always our question. So, and uh, and this is not just from a from a, from one group. This is this is all together as a as a team. So, hindi to parang. You know, um, uh, this group made a mistake, so let them fix it. No, it, 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 we don't. We don't operate that way. You know, we, we we are having challenges in this one particular area. How can we help? Yeah. How can we? How can we uh, share uh, some of our expertise? And and and, and, and that's why it's so pleasant. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we we have managers here, we have leaders here, employees here, that have been in this company. For more than 17 years, mm-hmm. if you total the vintage of uh, of our leaders here, and I've never seen this in any of our of our peers or competitors, Kara, mm-hmm. easily or oh, more than a century, and total ng, <laughs> ng vintage of our of our leaders here, and uh, I'm I'm very happy and very proud to be part of Inspiro. Because hindi siya negosyo lang; it's actually a team, it's a community, it's it's a family. It is. I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know, Inspiro has um, has been about uh, providing that level of support. You know, in in other organizations where hierarchy, pyramid yung itsura niya. Dito baliktad. We call it an inverted pyramid, uh, Kara. So, mm, so uh, uh, senior leaders like us. It's about making sure that we provide that level of support and making sure that our employees are are, are successful in what they do. So um, it's all about making sure that you know uh, that they are not just being good at what they do, and at the same at the same time they grow with the company. So our lagi nami question is, you know, how do we make it better? How do we make sure employees are more empowered? How do we make sure? Our uh, our team are able to uh, provide that level of value, not just to our clients, but also to our employees and shareholders. Mm-hmm. At yung ganitong klaseng relationship goes beyond the company, but transcends to your clients as well. When you deal with your clients, ganito rin yung relationship. May bayanihan at malasakit pa rin. Of course, yes. You know, uh, uh, you know just going back into this pandemic, Um, and we didn't ask for it. Clients had, uh, you know, wrote to us and said, "By the way, we've given you, you know, ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars of just a, uh, you know, as an extra fund. Do what you 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 want to do with that." Uh, You know, for your, for our employees, for our, you know, for for our teams. You know, for someone who technically doesn't need to do that, actually even demand, could possibly saying that you know, you need to make sure that your that your coverage doesn't get impacted. We've never heard it from any of our clients, mm-hmm. but rather they're the ones who. Thank us for our resiliency, and they give and give us extra money, para we employees we can recognize, uh, you know, um, um, share it, and that's what we do. Uh, whenever clients give us this, uh, what we call um, incentive money, uh, we share that. Company that any any single peso or dollar from that, everything goes to uh, to our employees. So important resource. Yeah, so so ganun yung ano yung 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 close knit uh, 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 you know a partnership that uh, we have forged um, over the years so 
And that's why probably um, many of our clients, even the new ones, uh, uh, feel good about how uh, how the partnership is. Sabi nga nila, in their previous other competitors daw, they don't see senior leaders. Dito, ang relationship uh, uh, is is really up to, up to the uh, across all levels, whether uh, you're on the front line and or or you're in the senior leadership role. So, ma, they, they they feel yung ano yung yung agility, yung yung speed to respond um, is, is is much faster. Uh, wala wala kasi yung ano wala kasi ni siya bureaucratic. Now, now, looking back at your career as an industrial engineer and now as head of operations for a BPO company, which is harder to deal with, machines or people? You know, Kara, that's a very good, uh, uh, you know, uh, question, you know. And um, I've never thought that that question would be asked from me. Uh, in a perspective of of, uh, of machines and, and people, uh, I would say, um, uh, you know, if if I were to to look at it from an interaction perspective, and um, and and and, um, and and I think the reason why I uh, e- even uh, went into this uh, into this dis- discipline. Because industrial engineering course is uh, is a very holistical, uh, very holistical course. So um, I, I do not wanna just be confined on something that is uh, you know um, doesn't talk or doesn't uh, uh, you know p- provide feedback to you. In in that regard, um, uh, I, I feel it's it's much more difficult to interact with 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 machines. You know why? Because there was there's no two way game in in, uh, in 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 that in that uh, in that perspective. You know, having a machine, you know, you 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 visit it, yeah, you visit it once a week. You make sure the profile is correct. Uh-oh. It will just continue producing to you, um, you know, goods. You know, uh, but people. Whether I am whether whether I am good or whether I am being better every time I get to see you, Mm-mm. you don't get that. But here, when we interact with people, when we interact with 12,000 customer experience champions, you feel the emotions. You feel whether you are doing well or you're not doing well. Uh, you, you can feel that, you know, you're, whether you're providing the right support uh, or not. So, yeah. Um, it's very enriching for me, and it's been, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so the the the, the, the sabi ko, it's not just um, it's not just that I'm able to provide that level of support and uh, making sure that I I, I do my role as a, as a, as a member of this organization, but at the same time I'm I'm also getting inspired. Uh, Yung when sabi mo, when people commit to this kind of a level, you feel embarrassed not to commit even twice that. Right? Kasi, uh, so you're you're being challenged by your own team, which a machine will never do. So uh, parang in itself, parang you draw your self motivation pag ka machine yung kausap mo. So that's probably why I stayed much much longer here and i continue to be excited and uh, uh you know inspired by you know uh, working with these people you know um you know, just earlier today coming into this office when i see people uh they say they greet good morning to you and said how was your day oh i had one bad customer she was so upset with me you know you know <laughs> when they share these things you also become uh, the shock absorber so <laughs> Uh, and th- this is, uh, no, this is priceless to me. You cannot equate this. You cannot match this with any of, uh, no, any of your, in, 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 any, any tangible items. Because dealing with people is so much more fulfilling and inspiring. Nisan mas mahirap pero mas inspiring. Yeah, I mean, to, uh, you know, I, I would rather 
uh, I would rather do this and uh, eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, this kind of a setup, uh, rather than you know go into this and uh, and, and 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 be bored, you know. Uh, so um, I I I feel. I feel what draws me and, 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 and really motivates me. Knowing myself now is really this interaction where you feel either you learn something from that conversation mm -hmm. or uh, you, you've actually helped someone be better. Because at the end of the day, the greatest resource of any company is its people. They're not machines. It's the people. Yeah, they're not. It is not, and that's always been uh, our our greatest asset, you know. So um, even in our even in my performance review, Kara, that is one major uh, objective. In, in verbatim, it says to retain and develop our greatest asset, our people. So that is one of my definitely one of my important mandates in the organization. Mr. Romel Regino of Inspiro, it's been a real pleasure chatting with you. Thank you for believing in the skills and the talent of the Filipino and for spreading the value of Malasakit and Bayanihan all over the world. That it's not just about financial gain, but about building lasting relationships with people. Inspiro is truly an inspiration. Maraming maraming salamat po, Romel. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karen.